think the Miss Universe organization is an, a beautiful organization. I, I think there's a really big misconception on beauty passions and queens. And so I learned, the biggest lesson I've learned is that I can only control what I do and I can't control the results. Mariana, mi República Dominicana. A ver, es un título muy grande, un título muy importante. Muchas felicidades. ¿Cómo estás? Gracias, sí. Um, estoy muy bien. Um, es un mañana divino, un día divino hoy. Siéntete libre en, en, de hablar en español o en inglés como tú te sientas más cómoda. Ay, gracias. Yo, yo creo que algunas cosas yo voy a decir en español, algunas en inglés, porque tú sabes, domino más inglés, pero, pero yo voy a hablar mucho en español. Gracias. That is okay, don't worry. What is the commitment that you have ah, the now that you, the you are Miss Republica Dominicana, right? The yeah. you, what is the commitment that you have with your country, with yourself, now yeah. that you're going to El Salvador to maybe become Miss Universe? Uh, thank you. It is a, a big commitment because one, I I feel the love and the, the, the apoyo of all the beautiful Dominican people here that have been supporting me and it's it's an honor to represent Dominican Republic and and to represent uh, the beautiful people of the Dominican Republic and I think it's a big commitment because I have a, a really big responsibility and um, it's also a commitment to myself because this is something that I've I've put a lot of work into and I've dreamt of for a long time and so I just feel so overwhelmed with gratitude so blessed and 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 very happy and proud to be doing this and um i hope i can make i can make dominican republic proud and that's that's what i'm working to do totally i hope that i hope that too um about the preparation that you are have been doing for for this time for this uh for the for be for being in el salvador uh, and representing your country how how was the the preparation what are you doing to prepare yourself So, estamos preparando con mucho. Um, cada día estoy levantando a las 5 de la mañana y vamos a dormir como a las 10. Es un día full de pre cosas de preparación. Estamos tomando clases de maquillaje, clases de pelo, todo profesional, clases de baila, pasarela, ej ejercicio, muchas cosas con el piel y el cuerpo, uh, alimentos, comiendo muy bien. Y, y también perdiendo pesos y también leyendo, practicando por las entrevistas, um, leyendo, leyendo mucho, mucho, porque hay mucho que, que leer y, y, y noticias cada día. So, es, uh, it's a preparation that goes in full circle, you know, you, it, you, it's not just a, a beauty preparation, but it's also your brains and, and, and your health as well. There's a lot of judgment about the, the kind of job that, you, you're, that you're doing. Um, what is the way that you defend yourself or that you defend uh, the beauty passion? How, how, what, are the, what, is it, what is the message that you have for those people that are always trying to judge um, this kind of, um, yeah, the, the, the Miss Universe thing? How, is right. the, how do you defend that? I think the Miss Universe organization is an, a beautiful organization. I, I think there's a really big misconception on beauty pageants and queens. And I think it's a platform that um, that shows that there, in this world, you have to, you should be using your voice to help others, right? We all have a, a story to tell and, and, and it's a beautiful thing to be able to tell that. And I believe that It, this platform empowers not only women because it does empower it empowers women but it also empowers it can empower the world um i think all of these incredible women have such a, a, a strong voice and and we should use that to tell our story and also to make a difference in other lives in others lives because it mm -hmm. also the this platform also promotes giving your life selflessly to others and and i believe as human beings that's what we're put here to do to help others to do something for other people um you know we're all children of god so yeah totally that's a kind of, a kind of message i like it totally um you can win but you can also lose do yes. you prepare yourself for for 
for losing because it's something that it could happen and sometimes it, that makes us it, it, you can go sick we can go sick if those if the, something that you're preparing so much at the end of the day you don't have the results that you were waiting for so how do you prepare yourself for something like that oh it's a very difficult thing you know because we're all working for a purpose for the same goal for the same purpose and mm -hmm. you the only thing you can control is the work that you put in, um, what what you share with the world, but you cannot control the results, right? You, you can work. I, I always believe that the person who works the hardest, no matter what, I think that the, uh, they, the results are going to go in their favor. And I'm not just saying for beauty pageants, I'm saying for everything. Yeah, exactly. So, in life. In life, exactly. I've and I've also in my life, in my past, I've been told no so you know many times. I've been, mm -hmm. I've failed and I've come back up, and so I learned the biggest lesson I've learned is that I can only control what I do, and I can't control the results. Um, and so I think that's a very important thing to to keep in mind, right? And and to know that no door ever closes, that there's always going to be something on the other side, whether at the moment you win or at the moment you don't, there's always going to be something that's going to work out in your favor, especially if you work hard. I believe that 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 the hard work will not go, um, will not be missed. Of course. Thank you for this conversation. This, thank you for your thoughts. And thank you because you, I believe that the way that this conversation is going right now, it will help a lot of people to understand that it doesn't matter if you don't speak English that well or if you don't speak Spanish that well. At the end of the day, if you have the respect for each other, we can communicate. We exactly. can communicate. That's the value of this. So I appreciate the conversation that we're having right now. I congrats for the, the, the hard work that you're trying to do because I, I can understand, I can relate with you because To me, English is not that easy. For you, Spanish is not that easy, but we are trying our best. So that's some, that is something. You know, someone told me once a beautiful thing. Um, they said, you know, Mariana, we're all just trying our best. And that helped me to like take a stand back to realize it. I it's not my right to judge anyone, to love people as they are because we're all just trying our best. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for your message, you know, because at the end of the day, that is totally true. We're trying our best. We are preparing uh, to win, but we're preparing to lose as well, because sometimes a lot of doors or windows are gonna be closed in our faces, but we are trying our best. So whatever yeah. happened, whatever happened at the end, we're trying our best, so. Exactly, and a door will, oh, I really do believe that doors always open. One door closed means another one is gonna open, so. Okay, thank you, Mariana. It was my pleasure. Bye, it was a pleasure.